What is good, everyone? Well, this is an ironic question, right? If we look at everything that's going on in the world right now with the coronavirus, nothing seems to be good. But there's always a but in every bad situation. Hope will always be there as long as we do what we have to do and work together. For those who don't know me, my name is Moses, also known as the Pharma Coach. I'm a pharmacist. Currently, I'm at the pharmacy. I just finished my shift. I've been answering calls from worried patients for the past few days, which is understandable. But what I've been trying to make people understand is that caution is better than panic. I've been thinking about launching a YouTube channel and a blog for quite a while now. My plan is to tackle any general questions or concerns regarding medications and health. Although everything is not ready for my lunch, I feel like I need to come out and engage with you guys now because now more than ever, we're all eager for some accurate and reliable information. Okay, so the medication fridge just went off right now. Please don't pay attention to the little background noise that you're hearing. <laughs> For the next few days, I will come up with videos about the precautions that you need to apply during this coronavirus crisis. My initial plan was not to film with my phone, but because we're at a point where social distancing is so important, I don't want to make my videographer kill a come simply to film. A better image quality is not worth the risk. Okay, the fridge just got quiet, so it'll be less noisy. <laughs> that is why for right now, I'll be shooting my next videos by myself with my phone. So bear with me because I'm new to this. I'm even trying to figure out where to look on the phone. And sorry for that chair. I just noticed that it's making a lot of noise. Sorry, it's a cheap chair. But regardless of all of that, you have to stay tuned because I will give practical information surrounding the coronavirus. I'll answer the main questions that I get from my patients. For example, should you overstock with your medications? And if you have to self-quarantine, what should you get from your pharmacy? And what are the precautions to take if you come at the pharmacy for both pharmacy workers and clients? And we all know that pharmacies are the go-to places where people come for product or advice when they have a cough or when they have a cold or the flu. I will tell you the situations and the symptoms for which you shouldn't come at the pharmacy. As for right now, you can check out my introduction video on my YouTube channel and my website. It really captures who I am and what my mission is. By the way, Excuse my hair because let's just say that I won't be going to the barber anytime soon. <laughs> I'll see you when I see you.